Hi there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the peak function which we use in this script. So peak function helps us uh, look at the already existing value and uh, peek into it and pick a specific value. So what do I mean by that is let's go into the data and understand it more. So what do we have over here is uh, this particular orders data. So what I'll do is in the previously shown example, I have uh, shown how to use the lookup. So I'll remove that because in this specific scenario, it doesn't make any sense. So what do we have is a very simple orders data and uh, it has invoice order ID, product ID and units. Suppose that we want the a specific value of unit. Let's say we want eight as the baseline and that needs to be present in each row. So to do that, what we will uh, do is let's create one more table peak underscore unit so we will say load and uh, what we will going to peak is basically units so first of all the units just to make a connection and then peak units and you after the units we will say what record we want so we want first record so zero if it is 1, then it will be 6. If it is 2, 10 and so on and so forth. As we will say peaked underscore unit. <laughs> Just some funny name or you know, in your case, you can give whatever name you want, which is more meaningful. Um, resident order data. All right, let's go ahead and save this and load it. Click close, come to analysis in the table over here add the dimension customer id huh interesting customer id is a customer name not an issue invoice id add more dimension peak unit so add because sorry eight because uh, we were looking at or we wanted to get the first value add more and more dimension which is units right so for all these units we got eight right but since we we are we were at first record so for that it does not contain anything similarly if i change this to one hit the save and load click close come to analysis so now we are looking at the second record from the top and then for the rest of the record we get six so this is also you need to keep in mind that as and when you are moving up or down you know it's it will going to remove that particular record so what happens if you don't specify anything let's see this in the front end save and load the data close come to analysis and over here if you see if you don't specify anything it basically starts from the end so what it does it's it's basically starts uh, from here from 10 5 10 6 8 because if you look at its documentation it says if you don't specify anything it's it's by default mention minus 1 over here which means the order will start from the end of the table so very confusing sometimes so you just make sure that you are specifying what value you want to give and then let's say if one just to come back with that example we were going to go ahead and load the data come to analysis and we will get the table i was okay we specify one that's why i i was thinking zero so zero over here because for the first record we need to specify zero sometimes confusing analysis and uh, that's where we have the first record all right so that's about uh, the peak function and uh, i'll meet in the new video with the new function